Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick way how to change your oil in your rear end of your John Deere lawn tractor. First thing you do, measure the bottom of the rear end to the ground, seven and a half inches, and go make a spacer. Well, I'll meet up one here close to it. So I'm underneath the tractor, and there's your neutral rod right there. There's a little clip here. Take your screwdriver. Don't lose it. All right, push up. And yank it out of the back. So these are two brackets on each side of the, the rear end. You gotta take these bolts out. Take 10 millimeter socket. You can take this clip out here. Push down on the bottom, comes right out. Take your washer out. Put that out. And now I'm gonna lower the track down. Put your seven and a half inch Spacer there and the rear end. Right there. Press the, uh, your brake locker in to relieve the tension off the belt. Next step is take these bolts off. Four bolts, two on each side that holds the rear end to the frame. 13 mil. Before you jack your tractor up, the tractor's gonna pivot. So, put some uh, piece of wood on each side here so the tractor don't go like this when you jack it up. Don't go too high because you gotta undo some cables. And uh, not a rod. There you take that cable off here and mm -hmm. the forward reverse rod. Put the clip back there. It can be a pain, but it'll come out. When it's almost out. There, I got it. Take that rod out. All that's left is uh, your belt. Now you can jack it up higher. There, this holds the belt on your pulley. Takes a 15 millimeter. This will hit your fan, but it does fit. There you go. Now you can take your, push your rear end forward a little bit. Take your belt off. And now, you're gonna grab your tractor by hand and lift it out of place. Grab some gloves, but grab it up. Do 
lower it down a little bit. Not all the way down. And grab it up. Doesn't weigh much for that to rear end. Now you got the rear end. You can pressure wash it, clean it up, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray some uh, rim cleaner on it. It works pretty good on grease. Brush. Put it back on your uh, wood. Keep the uh, rear end a little level. Here's your vent cap. Here's your hole. Here's your filler drain hole. Just put your screwdriver underneath. A little hammer. Oh, there you go. Pops right out. There's going to be a magnet there. There you go. You have to clean that. So 200 hours on it. After a while, it loses its viscosity and the transmission will slip a little bit. These got tendency to crack and oil will seep out. So this one's just still okay, but it's cracked on the outside, but the inside's not. I'm gonna reuse it. I'll put a silicone on top. Underneath there, push it and get it in the pan. I'm gonna let it uh, drain there for about a half hour. All right, she's all drained. I'm gonna put some uh, oil in there. You can use, uh, there's a K46 transmission. They use a uh, high guard, uh, low viscosity, or you can use a uh, 5W50 uh, synthetic oil. But they had hydraulic oil in this one, so I'm gonna put back the high gear hydraulic oil. Check the oil level again. And I almost go right to the top about a quarter of an inch since the pump's primed. The next step is to clean your magnet. It's all good. Drop her in. Put the cap on. All right, I cleaned all the fins of oil. I'm gonna clean my, my pulley with the lacquer thinner, get all the oil out of there I'm a, that might have spilled on it. All right, there's two rods here. Make sure this rod on this side of the, those blocks and the other one on the other side. Put the jack 
the back end of the tractor. This rod here is going to go inside of this bracket. You can put it right on there if you want. Put your washer on, your star washer here. You put that on the ground and tap it flat again a little bit. A little bite. Give it an extra bite when you put it back on. Good. Gonna put the belt on. Get your retaining bolt. And you plug that wire in. I'm gonna lower the tractor down a little bit. Show these brackets on the outside of the, the framework. Yeah, she's on the rear end right now. Okay, I'm gonna put these these bolts for the, the rear end for the side brackets. And on the other side, do the same thing. Tighten your bolts uh, for your side brackets. To put in this last rod, you gotta let go of the uh, parking brake. This is sliding in there. Put your washer on. Clip. Put your clip on. There you go. It'll snap right in place. One last thing to go. Reverse rod. There you go. It goes on top. There. That's it. Okay, if you like this video, press thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel, click below. Thank you for watching.